welcome back and here we are for another patient education video. This time we're going to talk about liver enzymes, elevated liver enzymes to be in fact. Particularly the AST and ALT enzymes. Those are the ones that most people think of when they think of liver enzymes. But before we talk about these in depth with the liver, we have to throw out one thing um, and that's that it's not always coming from your liver. There can be other factors involved that can cause these elevated, quote, liver enzymes. So, Tiger, do you know where perhaps some of these enzymes can be made? So they can actually be made in your muscles in as well. In the muscles. So very occasionally I'll see somebody who, for a physical who comes in for routine screening, and they will have worked out really hard the day before. And it can cause a release of these enzymes into the bloodstream and make it look like your liver could possibly be damaged. So that's one thing. If you get a report back showing elevated liver enzymes, make sure you talk to your doctor about this and let them know. But back to the liver now. <laughs> Maybe you can uh, tell us some of the things that can cause the liver to produce and release excess ALT and AST into the bloodstream to make it obvious to us that something's going on. Right, so these enzymes can be elevated for other reasons, like increased alcohol intake over time. Um, also, taking different medicines can increase yes, liver absolutely. enzymes. Both, both of those things, the medicines and the alcohol, have some effects on the liver and it can release them. Um, in small doses, things like that can be okay, but in excess, you know, medicines and alcohol can both damage the liver. So we need to be aware of that and cut back on that if our liver enzymes are up. Right, and even if you do get those labs back and you make those changes, there also can be a couple other things that can cause liver enzymes to be elevated, like viruses. Viruses. Hepatitis viruses. Hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. Those are the three that we, we uh, generally are concerned with, but there could be other viruses too. Maybe, uh, maybe the monovirus, the Epstein-Barr virus. That can do it. Cytomegalo or CMV virus. That can do it. It's not just the hepatitis viruses. So don't be overly concerned that you have hepatitis if you have these back. You just need to have the evaluation and follow-up to be able to check these things out to make sure everything's okay. Right. And after that, and then if the virus panel comes back clear, there can also be one more thing, and that's fatty liver that uh, can yes. be causing elevation. If you want fatty to explain um, kind of how we go about yeah. So that. fatty liver is probably the most common reason we see for elevated in liver enzymes in our practice and in primary care. So just like the body can store fat in the belly, in the legs, wherever you, you know, keep it, it can also store it in the liver. And this can be damaging to the liver, so we don't want a fatty liver. So to come up with this diagnosis of fatty liver, the first thing we usually do, unless your liver enzymes are just through the roof, the first thing we do is just recheck it. Then we might do some special imaging if it's still up and we can't find out what's causing it. Maybe we've eliminated viruses as the cause or iron intoxication as the cause. What kind of imaging do we usually do for the liver? So typically we'll start with an ultrasound just yeah. to look for any functional changes for right. to find fatty liver. Ultrasounds are generally inexpensive. They're targeted in the area of the liver. We're not blasting your body with radiation. So it's really easy, really simple and cost-effective way to find fatty liver. And if you have something else, a mass in your liver or something else that's growing in there, they can see that too. But mainly we're just looking for fatty liver to confirm that's what it is before we say, hey, you need to treat your fatty liver. Right. And so what is the best way to treat fatty liver? Well, like I said, fat can be stored in the liver just like the rest of the body. So the same things that you might do to lose fat and lose weight from your body are the same things that you would do to lose fat from your liver. So exercise, diet, things like that. Um, you know, there's special diets that we can do that uh, are really good for this. Tiger, right? you're an expert on these kinds of things. <laughs> right. So tell us about that. So in our office, we promote whole food, plant-based diets is the best way to reverse um, both diabetes, fatty liver, and other diseases that are caused by excess weight. So the more fruits and vegetables, seeds, and nuts you can eat, the better off you will be. You definitely want to uh, eliminate the sugars, starches, and excess fats in your diet. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't want to do that because they don't think they can. But the diet to do it is actually very easy. 
And you'll have to check out Tiger's other <laughs> video on this diet because she made her special diet that uh, anybody can do. And we encourage you to try it for two weeks. That's all we ask is two weeks. And I think you'll see such a benefit in just that short period of time and know how easy it is that you'll do it for much longer than two weeks. Tiger, you tried this diet. Yes, I did actually. Yeah, so I that. started this just off whim. I created the diet based on Dr. Gregory's Daily Dozen, which we can link some more information below. He's a really great resource for all things nutrition, and he's also a medical doctor. So yes. you're getting great information. So I decided to create my own to help out our patients who come in and they say, I've tried everything and I just can't lose weight. I've tried keto. I've tried beach body. I've tried everything. Well, this diet is simple. It's just two weeks to start. And then from there, you can just keep going because it's so easy. All it is, is just whole food plants. <laughs> That's it. So work on your fatty liver, work on all the things, keep up with your appointments and make sure that your liver returns to normal because you only have one liver. And you need to live with it for the rest of your life. <laughs> yes, and that's why preventative medicine is so important and primary care is so important. So always be sure to come in for your well visit every year to get your labs checked. And if you need any follow-ups, definitely keep them so we can make sure your liver is functioning well. So thank you so much for watching.